Peace and love everyone and welcome to another SnowRunner mod review! This week we got Icebergs Ice Runner. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe, like, and leave a comment. I love hearing from you beautiful people. So we are here on the public test server, but this mod is available on all platforms. And it is Icebergs Ice Runner. As you see, it is very lovely. All of his mods are very detailed. The textures on the tires are amazing and also his interiors are always outstanding. Now of course this is a Toyota 4Runner but to allow it on the consoles he kept it unbranded for all you gorgeous console players. Mirrors work, gauges work, land burning hole. Now I am on the second map here of the public test server which is season 10 and the way I found the map to make it nice and simple for everyone is when you first open up this gateway from the first map you will come out here I right away made a yeah, left made a left here I'm doing a quick radar to just get my bearings and I went left and I followed this till I got to here. I did another radar and I came up here and then I got this one. And then I backtracked back down to here and no, I backtracked down to here. Came down this way, went down this way, and I then got this watchtower which got this whole space open which then shows you this watchtower this service hub over there uh, coastal frustrations and your garage fuel station and trailer store so that's pretty cool so if you want to get to the, tr the garage real quick in season 10 second map once you enter from Duncan Bay you're gonna turn left on the dirt road then you will continue down the dirt road if you don't want to get this this watchtower over here you don't have to go up this dirt road but if you're on this dirt road you come across the first dirt road on your left you're going to turn down the, and then get this watchtower but if you don't want it you just skip past that first one and once you come to a like a T in the uh, like a dead end you're gonna turn right and then you're gonna follow this all the way down to get to here and then once you get to this roadblock here you can see this nice kind of path up this way you can carve your way up through the trees up to this watchtower which then opens up this whole space as I said and then you can go down and get your garage which if you need from the garage, it does refuel and repair your vehicles. You can also customize your vehicles. But in the second map of season 10, you will have to open up the trailer store and um, trail, uh, garage slots. So you'll have to open up the truck store and garage slots to have more than just one vehicle in the garage. Also, you can't, you can't do truck storage but since we're in here, let's check out the Ice Runner. What we're all here really for, for this mod review. He's got three different engine choices. You got the stock, you got slightly upgraded, and then you got full out racer. And then you got a crawler manual uh, low gear, which is that multi low gear, which I friggin' love it. You got highway, you got fine tuned off road, you got non fine tuned off road, which if you read the descriptions, there he will tell you what the difference truly is between those two and then you have the stock and then you have the uh, RCLT at high heavy duty not high I'm high <laughs> um, it's a softer suspension made for crawling and then you have your stock one that it comes with uh, you have a pro towing suspension you have a pro lifted uh, Fox and you also have a Sport Plus. 
which is what I picked. And then you have a very good selection of tires, which all look very good. I love the vanillas. Put some road tires for you, boys. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, you got so many tires. A lot of good selection of tires here. He always does a good job on his textures of tires and on the vehicle itself. Like, you can really see the curvatures to it, and even the lenses on the headlights look extraordinary. Wind Chizzy has a Tom in it. Uh, uh, autonomous and then extended and then just stock scout uh, he has engageable diff lock uh, rear bumper only one thus far I'm pretty sure UK gamer when he was reviewing this mod uh, he did say that they're gonna add some more bumpers and whatnot uh, we have the satellite globe scanner dash mounted radar which technically then you don't need the GGMS bobblehead but I'm gonna leave both on anyways because why not uh, you only have the one front bumper right now hopefully that'll come out with more uh, you have a little roof rack and you got oh sorry uh, a whole bunch of different rims that you can pick from where's the I'm in a good light in this garage my god Oh, there we go. That's a good one. Yeah, you got a good selection of rims you can pick from. And then paints. He has a custom, two custom ones. Ooh. Wait. Why did I not see this one before? Kind of looks like a dino. Like, you know, the scaly kind of looking skin. I'm going to go with that one. But yeah, you get all these colors of the rainbow. And you can do bobbleheads. Or you can do accessories, which I have the. Pretty sure I have the one on. Yeah, anyway. So that's every upgrade for the Ice Runner. But how does it perform? You know, that's really the Golden Gate question. <laughs> Golden Gate. What a shithole of a of a yard though, just a mud pit. Kind of uh, ridiculous. I'm really getting annoyed that they're putting these excavators in here and you can't use them. Like I know it's just decoration like those cars there, like you can't use these cars, but you know, cars are cars. You gotta have decorations, right? Holy oh, shit. And then like a trailer, sideboard one. We got a trailer store. Get. Yeah, we can get our normal scout trailers with this. So that's not bad. Always good to have a scout trailer. Speaking of, I am going to grab one right now. Get a real test for this thing. Now I don't have the towing. Suspension on. He does have a specific towing suspension that you might want to use if you are actually going to tow with this. I honestly don't think I'm going to actually tow with this. Just like the, the Blizzard JW40, the Jeep Wrangler mod, I wouldn't tow with that one either. But to each is their own. You can tow with whatever you want in this game, guys. As long as the game accepts it. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna just drive up here. Check out how good this mod is. I love the suspension, but like how good oh oh I'm in the grass. <laughs> Let's get out of the grass so we can actually look at the suspension. You know what I mean? Like so detailed in his mods. Yeah, I'm gonna crawl. Moves so so realistically, his suspension. He did a really good job on this forerunner. 
Hey, Iceberg, if you are ever going to watch this video, I have a special request for a mod. Can you do a Jeep Wrangler JK for me? I would greatly appreciate it. Like, you can even ask me for ideas for, like, add-ons and accessories for it. I would be more than honored to help you in the pursuit of a Jeep Wrangler JK. Please. Iceberg, if you're listening. UK Gamer, if you're listening, please. I just want a Jeep Wrangler JK so that I can make my Wrangler Source Rex in the game. There's not so much to ask for you guys. That's a nice lake. That is a nice lake there. So after getting this one from your garage, this watchtower, you will open up this kind of, uh, oh, fish farm storage. Oh, that's cool. Got a fish farm in here, so does that mean we uh, transport fish? Water tower. So, yeah, I guess we'll follow this road down to here. And then we're gonna throw up a scan of scans. So we got that. And then we go here, and then we're gonna do a scan of scan. And that bobblehead right off. Yeah. That is a nice picture. Alright, how do I get down from beyond? Without just destroying this forerunner. So, the... Oh my god. The Jeep Wrangler that I have now that I use the Blizzard JW40 uh, mod, it is probably one of the best scouts to use. Like, it gets through almost everything. This one is equal to that mod, definitely. So, on performance, I'm gonna have to give this a 9.5 for sure. Um, especially like how it's just whipping this trailer back and forth, like, just like Willow Smith and her whipping her hair back and forth. This, Forerunner whips his trailer back and forth. Now, of course, there's nothing on it, so don't be too amazed by it. This task here, the water tower. Water tower. Looks, look wise, and Visual, interior, exterior. Gotta give it a 10. It's a saw. Like, Iceberg, he puts in the time and effort into these mods he builds. Like, he really does. And if someone gives his mods a thumb down, like a thumb, you know, a bad review, it's probably because they were expecting something OP, which he doesn't make OP mods. He makes in between vanilla and um, vanilla and OP, you know, he, he's got a good balance. He, he doesn't make his mods so overpowered that it makes the game boring, but he doesn't make them so vanilla that it makes it frustrating, you know? So, 
that's really why I like his mods. I, I would love to see him do another North American uh, semi truck, like the Western Star or a Peterbilt. Peterbilt would be cool, or even a Mac. He could do a Mac since uh, season ten has a Mac in it. Or if he could even do another Kenworth, that'd be pretty cool. Um, I think he did a great job on the uh, W900 mod. Um, I still have it on my roster. I just haven't, haven't, uh, haven't pulled it out in a long time. I've been using other mods. But, um, definitely still in the roster, and this one will be in the rotation for sure as well. Like, as I said, this thing is. It gets through everything. Like, got some mud? Well, don't worry, it's winch wool. Definitely pull you out. Got this tags. Gonna decorate the trailer. I don't think I need this trailer anymore. Huh. This is our new uh, trailer, a new cargo ship on a trailer. So that's going to be for a task. So let's see what the task is around here. Oh, no. See, that's what happens when we have the two mods, two uh, radars on. Oh, whoa. That's a lot of water. <laughs> oh, is that what that is? Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Gotta get current side trailers for that one. Whoa, that is a lot of water. Yep. Definitely. Well, guys! That will conclude this mod review and uh, a little season 10 adventuring for you. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And for everyone, leave a comment. I love to hear from you guys, even if it is just a how do you do or even just emoji. I'll send emoji back. I don't care. But like always, I'm going to have to tell you to live your life with love and peace, everyone. Bye bye.